Hi everyone, uh, today I'd like to show you a new video of uh, Nanotech, um, the current state of it. And um, yeah, if you don't know, it's basically um, the same system or the same approach as um, Nanite. So it has that it uses the same um, tech that also is behind Nanite um, with clustering. And um, for example, here you can see the clusters. And when you go closer to an object, then you see um, more details and you go further away <coughs> less and this way we don't get the typical LOD popping so much. Um, but um, the current state it's not um, perfect, it's not um, as good as Nanite at the moment. It's, it's almost as good I would say, <laughs> but it's not as good. So at the moment I'm getting here around 120 FPS. <coughs> you normally in Nanite you can get a bit more FPS and we can see that later but there are still a lot of things that we um, can optimize to get maybe later 140 or 160 FPS which I think would be good enough. It's, it's really hard to get on the same level as Nanite because it's really well optimized but I think with um, <coughs> some um, more improvements and optimizations we can um, get there. So also without the recording I normally get 130 so this is also 10 FPS from the recording, by the way. Um, what um, what else? Yeah, <coughs> we um, we have here in this scene. This is a test scene with thirty thousand objects, and each object um, I have a lot of polys. And this one here has over, I think, two million. And this one here, one million polys. And um <coughs> as you can see, you can get very close here. And um, I think this is around uh, 300,000 polys. And um, at the moment the generation time between in, in Unity to generate these um, objects is around a few seconds for this uh, smaller object and these high polys maybe one or two minutes or yeah, around that time. <coughs> it really de also depends on the object but um, mostly all of course of the on the triangle count. <coughs> so. Um, yeah, when you can here fly around, uh, it's the mode's already very smooth. No um, issues here. For this test scene, I um, disabled um, shadow maps. I only have a emit occlusion um, shadow here, and um, this is the default um, Unity lit shader um, for all objects that are just have different um, colors and no textures. And um, I will. I created the same scene in Unreal also with the same same setup basically so that we can have a um, comparison between those two and um, other another reason is um, I still work I'm still working on the shadow mapping the virtual um, shadow maps for Nanite um, that's why they are not here and um, the texturing this is uh, this is already working um, but I want to make sure that um, there's no performance difference because th the, tec the virtual texturing might have an impact. Also, it might be not not a high impact on the FPS. It might be so just to make sure this is not um, uh, no conflict with this um, texturing. I just turned it off, but it's already working. And I will post um, another video later with the texturing. And I think they already in the other videos I already used um, texturing virtual texturing. So um, <coughs> yeah, wha what's besides the performance, what's still missing? We um, already got a lot of detail here, but there can be a bit more. So when you look here, for example, the distance, you will see there's still some LOD popping going on. So this is also a thing. It's not that um, visual anymore, so you, you don't see it so much, but it's still um, there's still some transitioning going on and of course it would be nice if we can really get rid of that in the final product and um, yeah it's it's already possible but then we get a the, the FPS will go down again so we we really have to balance this out so at the moment I think to get a good FPS um, I think this quality level is um, is fine at the moment but um, yeah there's still things to test out and m to make it faster. So um, here by the way is the triangle count and um, here this is the uh, debug view. You can also have a look at the demo if you want and when you <coughs> fly out here then you can see there are some um, 
things going on here. This means that basically um, the red blocks are getting deallocated <coughs> and only the greens are in the memory now. And um, when we fly in again, then because uh, we got more detail, we also got more data to process. And it's al it always depends where you look. And these are the blocks that um, <coughs> that are free at the moment to get um, can be written again. So that that's it for this part. Um, you can here on the top compare. Render instance is basically r r the default rendering and uh, it's very slow, um, but you can see the full detail of the meshes and you can compare how it actually should look later, <laughs> maybe. And <laughs> this is the version that's currently um, the quality setup. Um, and yeah, just you see there are some, here are some minor details changing. And there's al also this LOD um, setup. This is a bit faster. Um, but also gets very slow when you look here with more instances then the LOT system is yeah it's not that fast anymore and yeah and um, so the nanotech version is at the moment the fastest version and I think it will be also faster we I will do some more tests with low quality meshes because we you have to think about that this is um, one draw call so everything here everything together is one mesh each separate mesh are all together combined as one mesh and <coughs> yeah they I think that's the the biggest benefit with this technology that we have only this one draw call we basically always rendering and we can of course we can move these meshes around and um, separately but they internally are rendered as one mesh I think that's really really great about this technology and yeah so I um, think that's it for, for this part. We can have a quick look at the Unreal, um, un Unreal demo and you can see the, the difference. Okay, um, here we can see the Nanite demo. It's, um, it's a bit faster. It's, it's running with um, in the standalone with 160, 170 FPS and I'm here in the editor it's a bit slower or it's limited to 120. Um, but yeah, the triangle count is already very similar. We get around 30 million to 20 million here, and um, yeah, outside of the sphere, even less, as you can see. And um, yeah, I think it's it's um, it shows that Nanad is really optimized here, and also the quality of code is, of course, is very great, but. Um, I think we we can get the same results at some point with nanotech. It will take some more time to optimize it, but we're getting closer to the same quality, of course. It's just a matter of time. <laughs> um, yeah, and then for more information, you can check out the Discord server. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. And um, if you like, you can subscribe to the channel to get more updates. And also um, on a Discord server you will find the demo, the latest one. Um, thank you and have a great day. Bye.